time, we are hearing the 911 audio recording of an accident that injured a woman <clears throat> after a St. Lucie County deputy intentionally bumped her car, causing it to flip. News Channel 5's Angel Cruz, part of the largest news team on the Treasure Coast, she has the story from Fort Pierce. You can tell from the skid mark still left on the ground here that this spot on Okeechobee Road is where Sandra Silla Savage's car was flipped after a deputy performed a pit maneuver on her. We've obtained the 911 dispatch audio recordings of that incident, which tells us two things. Number one, the deputy did have his siren on, and number two, from what we hear on this recording, the deputy did not request permission to perform the maneuver. In the 911 audio from the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office, you can hear Deputy Sean Freeman radioing dispatch to tell them an SUV is swerving. Solid the road, off the line, in and out. Is he stopping uh, or not? Not so close. Less than a minute later, the audio becomes unclear, but the deputy either tells dispatch he's going to roll her or that her car has rolled. Yeah, she's getting a mess of uh, rolled. Sandra Silla Savage, the 62-year-old handicapped driver who the deputy said was trying to flee, said she began to try to pull over as soon as she was aware of the siren and flashing lights. The minute I heard that and I was on cruise control, I hit the brake to pull over and, you know, pull off the road. According to the incident report, Deputy Freeman had performed a pit maneuver, tapping her bumper with his. Her car flipped onto its side. Half of me is hanging, you know, in, in midair and uh, my cane fell on top of me. In the dispatch recording, you hear someone saying they were unaware of the crash. That uh, would be deliberate, no crash. I didn't know that happened. Silla Savage was arrested, charged with fleeing. She denies that charge. Authorities also charged her with possession of a controlled substance after they say she was found with four oxycodone pills in her purse. She denies driving under the influence, and we're still waiting on blood work results. Reporting from Fort Pierce, Angela Cruz, WPTV News Channel 5.